Hey everyone, welcome to episode 168, All or Nothing Parenting. Meet our mom, Kelly Hutchison. She is a life coach. She is a child counselor. She is a teacher. She's a parent coach. And she's a mom to us. She will teach you to stop yelling at your kids. She will teach you to get your kids to lesson. She will teach you how to never sleep with mommy guilt again. She will teach you how to be an imperfect mom. So you can help your kids be imperfect too. And And have have harmony harmony in the home. Hey everyone, so I'm going to talk today about something that will help you so much. Maybe it's be more even tempered with your children, organize your house, lose weight, have a better marriage or relationships, keep up with your laundry, start a new career. I don't know why I'm talking so sing-songy. So all or nothing thinking and parenting is literally, that's how great he says literally, he says every single syllable, literally what's going to get us in trouble the most because... When I was unconscious, I felt like I needed to be the perfect parent and I had this destination addiction once I felt like the perfect parent and I didn't even know what that rubric was to even be a perfect parent, then I would have some more relief and not so much anxiety about my parenting journey. That once I felt good enough and once I felt full and my kids behaved and they were like unicorn children, then I could relax and settle into this parenting journey. But I blamed my kids for why I wasn't being a more relaxed mother. So you'll see this a lot in a lot of areas of our life. And once you see it in one area, then you can take it and apply to any other area of your life. It's all or nothing thinking that you either need to do it all or you do nothing. And that could be keeping up with the house. It could be losing weight. So many people start a workout journey and the program they follow says to work out four to five times a week. Well, then they get sick. They go out of town. They oversleep. Their kids get sick. They get sick. Life just happens. And so they don't keep the schedule, so to speak. And so they just give up and quit altogether because if you can't do it all perfectly, then might as well do nothing at all. And I'm here to tell you that there's that Goldilocks balance that you can find in any area of your life, whether it's parenting, weight loss, house organization, your relationships. It doesn't have to be so all or nothing because then you're left with, oh, I've disappointed myself because I missed a workout or ate a Twinkie. And so now I just have to start all over and starting all over sounds so exhausting. It's easier to do nothing because then you don't face that feeling of disappointment within yourself. And I got this email from Isabel Stevenson. She's wonderful. And she says, my clients and I often find ourselves in black and white thinking. We see one option and it's not one we want to implement. So we feel stuck. And she gives such good examples. She said, stay at the job or leave. Going back to school full time or not at all. Dropping a friend. Losing 50 pounds or don't even start. Keep the business or drop it. Career choices, school choices, meal choices. And I asked all of you on Facebook... If we're not connected on Facebook or Instagram, remember, you're not following me. We are in this together, locked arm in arm, heart in heart. Send me an email on Facebook or Instagram. It's literally my name. And on Instagram, there's a period in between Kelly and Hutchison because I think a doctor has Kelly Hutchison. And so Katie says healthy eating. And that's so true because sometimes we think, well, if I'm going to follow this meal plan, I have to stick to it 100%, get an A+. And if I don't, then I'm just going to eat Twinkies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, I just use Twinkies as an example. I, for one, actually love Twinkies, but it could be anything. And a lot of times our brain will say, oh, you fell off the wagon, so now you can't get back on. It's too much work, too much effort. And then we end up doing nothing because it's either we eat literally A-plus perfect or we eat Twinkies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The brain doesn't like that middle ground, that limbo, and I am here to help you live in that limbo and live with B minus. Exercise, and that's the kind of example I gave a couple minutes ago about how we have a workout plan that says exercise four days a week and walk two days a week. Let's use that as an example. And then something comes up, you don't do it, so then it's like, oh, couch potato time. Because working out and eating healthy is not easy. 
So the brain's like looking for anything to get out of that not easy feat. Self-care and self-love is not easy. It sounds like it's, oh, massages and bubble baths. There's not a day that I go to work out and my brain's like, yeah, let's do that. That's such a great idea. Every single day it takes my management. Every single day it takes my management to be conscious with our kids. Every single day it takes consciousness to keep our house organized to a level that makes us feel like it's the B minus level. I love what Katie said. Another Katie said, decorating for the holidays is a good one because I feel like I can knock out the December holidays. Like I hit it out of the park. But when it comes to the other little ones, it's like, oh, that's so much work. And then we don't do anything for the holidays as far as decorations. Lene says parenting. And I hear this so many times. Kelly, I was doing so well. I was listening to our podcast. I was in the zone. I was doing so well. And then we went on a trip or I got busy or summer happened. I got on my schedule and now I'm yelling around the clock. There is a space between yelling around the clock and conscious parenting where there's no yelling at all. A lot of times I just talk with clients about how about we don't yell all day? How about we just lessen the yelling instead of just saying going from yelling all day to stop yelling? That's a big leap. So what if we just focus on lessening the yelling? instead of going from yelling all day to not yelling at all. That's a big leap. It's a gradual, slowly but surely, it's kind of like losing 50 pounds. You don't lose 50 pounds in one week because you listen to a podcast. You lose one pound 50 times with that consistent energy and that consistent behavior. And then when something does come up and there is no wagon to fall off, when your brain thinks all or nothing, they think there's a wagon that you're literally riding on or a horse you're riding on and you fell off the horse. So the brain's like, this is a perfect opportunity to tell this crazy lady, or this crazy man to stop doing all this growing and evolving and achieving. Like just let's coast. Let's eat the Twinkies lay on the couch and sleep in. That's so much easier for the brain. So we want to take the path of most resistance because that yields the most results and that yields the most wins. Another one of you said, clean the house. This is huge. This was a huge one for me. It's like, if I can't have it A plus companies coming over, then why even bother? And cleaning the house, I like as much as I like exercise. Zero. On a scale of one to 10, it's a zero. Zero out of five stars. Definitely do not recommend. But the after product and the after pride is what I literally put in my brain. Like, I know this is not fun right now. I talk to my brain like it's a five-year-old. I know this isn't fun right now, but we're going to do this for the greater good. We're going to do this for our health. We're going to do this for our wealth. We're going to do this for to be a role model for our kids. Whatever that thing is, that's how you kind of talk your brain into it. And then the brain will still have a temper tantrum and like spaz out all the time. And you just have to constantly do that mind management. You never get to a place where you're always conscious parenting, always conscious living in your house. You'll never get to that point Instead of doing that black and white thinking or that all or nothing thinking, there is a middle ground and there is no horse and there is no wagon. So when you know that, then your brain can kind of live in that limbo because you're taking the path of most resistance so you can yield the most results. But there's never a time where you get completely conscious 100% of the time with your parenting, with your relationships, with your money, with your house, with your weight. It's always a constant mind management. So when we're not looking for that destination addiction of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, then we can just enjoy the journey. The joy is literally in the journey. I didn't make that up. I, it's been repeated over and over and over because it's very true. Then you're not in any hurry to be the perfect conscious parent or the perfect goal weight or the perfect amount of money in the bank or the perfect job. You're like, oh, this is part of the journey. I have to do my management through this and it never, ever, 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 ever goes away. That's kind of reassuring because then you don't have that destination addiction because it is no better there. It just gets a little easier to manage your mind. Kara says, getting our business up and running. This is huge. So many people start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, 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 and they dabble. And then that dabbling, then there's no progress because it's on, off, on, off, on, off, because it's either I have to be a millionaire or I have to sit on the couch and work in a dead end job that doesn't give me any fulfillment. There is a middle ground and there is B minus of building a business. Lisa says exercise five to six days a week, every week. So true. That sets us up for failure because there's going to be many days you can't do that for a multitude of reasons. And some days you just don't feel like it. Now you can do mind management around it, but when you do miss for whatever said reason, you don't beat yourself up about it. You just literally 
it's like brushing your teeth and forgetting, or if you've ever forgot, put on deodorant, the next day you don't beat yourself up. I can't believe I forgot to brush my teeth before I went to bed. Or I can't believe I forgot deodorant when I went to work. I'm such a loser. I'm such a bad person. I can't be consistent. We don't do that. We just put the deodorant back on. We just brush our teeth extra and floss and mouthwash. So when you can see it with things like that, and Autumn Calabrese one time said, she's like, when you don't do a workout or you eat a Twinkie or you go to a vacation, you don't have to start all over when you get back from your vacation or your sickness or you're sleeping in, whatever it is. It's kind of like being in a marriage with someone. If you guys get in an argument, which is going to happen in any relationship, after the argument, you don't say, oh, we had just had an argument. So now we have to start all over. We're now going to go back to dating. You need to court me. Ask me on a date. We're going to go on a first date. Who's going to pay? That doesn't happen. You just wake up the next day and be like, okay, I was being a jerk and you were being a jerk in this way. And let's, let, let's be less jerky together. High five and move on. Marty says traveling. It's either I have to travel the globe or I just travel to my mailbox. There is no middle ground, but there is a middle ground. That's the beautiful part. Laura also says working out and Denise says relationship and kids because I get so many emails about parents telling me, Kelly, I was doing so well. I was in the zone. I was, and then we went on vacation and now I'm yelling nonstop. I can't stop. I don't know what happened to me. I fell off the wagon. I fell off the horse. And I'm just here to reassure you that there is a middle ground in whatever area you're looking to grow and evolve and change where it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. There is a B minus to C plus to even D that's totally acceptable. And guess who sets up the rubric? We do. It's all made up. It's all convoluted in our head. It's all a figment of our imagination. So when we know that we don't have to be so all or nothing, so black and white thinking in whatever area you're thinking of right now, all or nothing thinking is what got me into trouble starting this podcast because I wanted to start two years prior to starting. But for me, it was all or nothing. I either had to do it perfectly and say all the right things and not be controversial and not say something that's going to get me canceled and have the perfect mic and have the perfect studio and have the perfect topics and do it the perfect length, have the perfect name. Do you hear the P word over and over and over? Perfect, perfect, perfect. And for two years, I ruminated and I spun and I just let my brain stop me. And all my brain was doing is it wanted to seek pleasure, avoid pain and be efficient. So it did not like me being vulnerable and starting this podcast. So for two years, I don't know if you know that, but that's 24 months. I spun and I spun and I spun and I can promise you there is nothing perfect about this podcast. I'm sure I've said lots of controversial things. I'm sure some people have canceled me. and I don't even know it. Some people have told me that they're canceling me and that's okay. You don't have to be a fit for everybody. There's a quote that says, don't try to please everyone. You're not a jar. You're not a jar of Nutella, only Nutella. And then people are like, I don't like Nutella. I'm like, what? How do you not like Nutella? But that's just an example. So whatever area of life that is kind of speaking to you right now, when I'm talking about all this, No, there's a middle ground. There's a Goldilocks balance in everything. And when you find that sweet spot, you're not in any hurry because there is no better there. You still, wherever you go, there you are. Isn't that a famous country song? So you can't run from your emotions. You can't run from your unworthiness. It's all an inside job. And then you start living from your life from the in to the out versus the out to the in. Thank you, Kyle Seas, for that quote. And that's how you have more harmony in the home and also in your life in general. I love you guys and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Hey mamas, thanks for listening. If you had any ahas, clicks, or those lightning bolt moments while listening, you have to check out my free parenting bootcamp where we take all of this to the next level and we try to create even more awakenings for ourselves so that we can connect more with our kids and never yell at them again. You can sign up at www.coachingkelly.com and if you really wanna fill up my love cup, Send me an email of what your aha was, what your click was, what was that lightning bolt moment while you were listening. I want nothing more in life than for you to have harmony in your home and to learn how to be an imperfect mom like me, which allows your kids to be imperfect too, each and every day. Thanks for listening.